declaration of uh, independence, and there are uh, five keywords illuminated on the uh, on the floor. And when visitors move on one of the keywords of the uh, independence movement, it goes up to the world, and that part of the um, independence movement, uh, the March 1st independence declaration, is uh, focused in videos related to the the content is uh, played. So that was the video about. And just next to the just next uh, left to um, just on the left of the interactive multimedia exhibit, there is an original copy of the Mar March 1st Declaration of Independence. So this uh, this environment led us to raise questions whether experience in inter interacting with this multimedia exhibit led to or provoke interest with the real exhibit. And Lastly, there is a showcase of 11 offices of Hyundai historical objects. So, as to totality of these uh, three exhibits was uh, meant to present a core uh, meaning of the March 1st movement, movement uh, independence movement, it is uh, important to how how visitors related to these four uh, exhibits. So, in this context, uh, we raise a research question. The first one is, does the interactive multimedia exhibit achieve a desirable purpose? So in this sense, we uh, thought first it should attract the visitors, and then therefore there can uh, there are visitors to interact with the multimedia exhibit, and it results in uh, learning. So these are the desirable purpose what we think about the uh, interactive multimedia exhibit. And second one is, uh, does the interactive multimedia exhibit promote visitors' interest in other exhibits in the section? So uh, to address these um, questions, we conducted a three-step lesson, three-step study on these issues. The first one is preliminary observation. This is just a simple observation, how visitors uh, use and interact with the uh, exhibit and uh, video observation and interviews was followed to delve deeply into what they uh, what derived from the issues uh, derived from the issues from the preliminary uh, observation. So um, at the preliminary observation stage, uh, this stage was um, took place before the actual research and it enabled us to categorize visitors into three categories. The first visitors is who interacted with the interactive multimedia exhibit, and uh, second visitors who did not interact but watch others interacting, and third one is visitors who did not view the interactive multimedia exhibit but view the other exhibits in the section of the exhibition. So let me show you their behavior.
between the interactivity exhibit of the other exhibit in the section. And also there were visitors who were testifying <laughs> um, related of excluding uh, type of visitors.
and most of the people know only uh, only recognize the C, which is the Declaration of Independence. And um, regarding the empirical multimedia exhibit, um, provide uh, provoked visitors' interest in other exhibits in the section. There was an um, interesting result here. So th these are uh, visitor types, and, the and it means the time the visitors spend other exhibit in the section. So uh, visitors who interact with the multimedia exhibit uh, recorded the voice. And visitors who interact, not interact, but view others interacting, mark the highs. So um, this this was the interesting results from our research, and we will um, discuss it later. So um, regarding the first uh, result, which is which is dealing with whether it uh, whether the Interactive multimedia exhibit achieves desirable purpose. So, um, in interview, many people uh, reported they they uh, decide to interact with the exhibit because others are interacting or their ch children shows interest. And also, they uh, said it is easy to um, start easy to operate the interactive multimedia exhibit. So, in this sense, we. Uh, of the importance of intuitive design and also interaction behavior could be affected by the social norm of the family. So uh, we come up with a suggestion that it is necessary to design an interactive multimedia exhibit that can be easily and intuitively learned and used to um, achieve function of interactive multimedia exhibit as an attention door. Why this uh, exhibition was not successful in terms of the visitors' learning? So in this case, this is related to interface design issues because the uh, input and output was separately separately um, displayed. It confused the visitors, so they just keep uh, intention on the floor, not view the work. So these are the suggestions that feature input is of crucial importance in designing interactive learning that they of it and the method of interaction should be relevant to the content and the function of interaction should not be limited to simply uh, pushing a button. And then lastly, um, the last result showed that the high um, category A who interacted, interacted with multimedia exhibit recording the lowest um, time spent in the section. So we uh, assume that um, is a sense of accomplishment that the interacting around among the visitors from category A led to reduce interest in other exhibits. So we um, assume the reason in this way. So from this uh, result, we suggest that it's crucial to establish a com complementary relationship between the interacting merchant the exhibit and then objects dis display. So just to uh, conclude, uh, even though the interactive multimedia exhibit functions successfully as an attention driver, uh, it failed to fulfill its potential in contributing to a meaningful experience for visitors. So um, yeah, therefore, it's important to thoroughly consider how to use interactive multimedia exhibit as a connecting point between both visitor exhibit and this exhibit exhibit and design um, interactive multimedia exhibit. So yeah. Thank you. <laughs>